We came up with the lampoon technique at the NIH about two years ago, and it's a transcatheter technique to cut the anterior mitral leaflet, and it prevents LV outflow tract obstruction when you're doing transcatheter mitral valve replacement. And we published our animal findings and our first in human findings, but we wanted to study this in a prospective manner to really rigorous, rigorously assess the feasibility and safety uh, in a prospective manner. So hence the Lampoon uh, US IDE early feasibility study. So this is a prospective multi-center trial. It got um, uh, US, uh, FDA IDE uh, as an early feasibility study. Uh, it's sponsored by the NHLBI and it's investigator initiated. Uh, really the data quality is as good as you'd hope for. So 100% on-source data ver verification, uh, independent endpoint adjudication, uh, core laboratory analysis. So high quality data in a small number of subjects because we're testing early feasibility and the primary endpoint was success for both TMVR because that's fairly investigational as well as well as success for Lampoon uh, so it was a composite of that um, and then we had safety endpoints which of course 30-day mortality and stroke were amongst those. The key findings of the study was that Lampoon was feasible in all patients all anatomies, we didn't exclude anyone for heavy calcification or, or, or for any of those reasons. So lamp, the actual laceration of the anterior mitral leaflet was successful in 100%. The system was delivered and retrieved successfully in 100%. So the lampoon side of things looked really good. For TMVR, again, if you look at it in context, the, the, the procedural survival was 100%. The amount of patients with LVOT obstruction in patients who are all at risk of LVOT obstruction it was only evident in one subject. And so the results taken in context are significantly better than what we see previously. And this is because we've eliminated the key obstacle that afflicts TMVR, which is LVOT obstruction. Just putting it in context, um, in the mitral registry, patients who had LVOT obstruction at a 38% survival at 30 days, 38% survival. If you try and prevent this surgically, um, patients had a 73% survival. But that, these are sick patients that you're opening up and you're trying to treat it surgically. Lampoon, you do this percutaneously, and at 30 days or the in-hospital mortality, that's uh, survival is 93%. So we see a significant benefit of removing the anterior leaflet, doing this percutaneously with this technique. The main things are that LVOT obstruction is the major cause of mortality and screen failure for TMVR. You can prevent it percutaneously using the lampoon technique. And for clinicians out there, if they're comfortable doing TMVR, which is a complex procedure, uh, and it's an off-label use of aortic valves in the mitral position, if they're comfortable doing that, the lampoon technique itself is a teachable technique. We had no roll-ins for, for during the trial, and it's a reproducible technique, and it can prevent the main complication of TMVR.